Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to come on here and share my views and review on this brand new eyeshadow palette. This is by Kevin Aquan or Kevin Aquan, I'm not sure. And this is the Electro Pop Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is a brand new palette. This is limited edition and it is exclusive to Sephora. Uh, at least that's what it says on Sephora, Sephora's product page. It says exclusive and limited edition. So yeah, this is a box that it came in. I really like how they model their eyeshadow palette on two different skin tone, a light and a dark skin tone. Hopefully they are re two real per people, you know, like two different persons and not, they haven't like photoshopped uh, dark or skin color. Um, I don't know, who knows? Uh, I'm, I'm just assuming that because, um, assuming that they are two different people, because the eyebrows are very different but you know who knows you can't photoshop eyebrows most definitely you can change it so you never know but let's just hope for the best and assume that they are two different models and yeah i like it it's really beautiful i love the eye look it's really zoomed in that you it's difficult to tell if they are different people or not it it, it doesn't give you a perspective you know it's like zoomed in a lot but anyways it's a beautiful picture both are really really beautiful guys so um, this retails, this is an expensive palette. This retails for 58 or 59. Hang on guys, let me just double check that. Yeah, 57. <laughs> yeah, this retails for $57. I'm not gonna lie, you get only 12 eyeshadows in here and 12 eyeshadows, $57 is quite expensive guys. It's quite expensive palette. So um, this is limited edition as I said and this is made in Italy. And it says at the back of the box, just a small description. There is a lot of description, but let me just uh, make it concise for you guys. It just says that uh, these eyeshadows are electrochrome eyeshadows that combine the perfect balance of pop pearls. Uh, pop pearls, I think they're referring to eyeshadows that like pop. They're vibrant, I, hope, I think. And the pigments to create a striking multidimensional look with a weightless feel and then they say that um, for best results use your fingertips for that maximum color payoff and that this is dermatologist tested and um, this I think this is becoming like a trend where in an eyeshadow palette you have an all shimmer uh, shadows and then just one black eyeshadow so that's that's how this palette is laid all of them are shimmers so out of the 12 eyeshadows you get 11 shimmers and one uh, matte black so um, in each pan you get actually a good amount of product guys it's not like too much uh, like you know Natasha Denona eyeshadow you get like 0 0.05 ounce of product each that's 1.5 grams so that's typically your full-size eyeshadow just for reference max full-size eyeshadow singles you get 0 0.05 ounce of product, Urban Decay full size single eyeshadows, the same amount, 0 0.05 ounce of product. And so you get 12 full size eyeshadows in this palette. So that's how you would see like uh, 12 full size eyeshadows. And that's a really good amount, especially for a palette, because when it comes to palette companies, uh, like kind of reduce the amount you, they offer, like especially Urban Decay sometimes of a 0 0.02 like half of less than half of what they offer you know like in a full size so yeah that's just that was just an example because urban decay's eyeshadows uh, from one palette to another palette it differs in each pan how much they offer so it's, I'm, I'm just not holding it against urban decay or anything so anyways you get a good amount of product in each pan um and what else as I said, these are made in Italy, guys. And you do have, like, the names of the shadows at the back. So that is good. And uh, this is, a, like, a plastic kind of packaging. And it says Electropop Thrice. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe they don't have room for a fourth time. Because, you know, the, the brand name comes here down below. So it says Thrice in, like, multicolored kind of uh, font color. So it's it's pretty it's pretty it's nice now it's it looks it looks normal nothing like very attractive um what else and this i just show you guys and it does have the list of ingredients uh at the back of the box but not at the back of the packaging so um i guess if you're someone who wants to refer to ingredients list you would have to save the box 
and yeah it does come with a good size mirror the size of the mirror is exactly the size of the palette like nothing not smaller at all just exactly the size of the palette so that's a good size mirror and these are the shadows guys so let's get swatching um, and then I will tell you guys how each shadow perform uh, but the quality and the formula and everything so hopefully yeah this is light this is I'm starting from here so this is light this is like a just a silvery shadow so that is that eccentric silver shade it's very very pigmented it's just blinding to be honest and then we have beam which is it looks very pale in the pan but on my skin tone it's very comes out very golden actually you can tell the yellow on my skin tone like a golden champagne it's very much on the golden side actually it's very very beautiful guys it actually uh, it complements my skin tone really well and it doesn't look very um, ashy or very like silvery or anything it looks really beautiful so that again is another eccentric uh, foil shade and then this is like a surprise actually this just looks so boring in the pan but hang on let me just swatch hopefully you would be able to see it in the video it looks it's hard to describe whether it's like a very icy blue or an icy green this is a very complicated shade and i was so surprised when i swatched it i did not to be honest i swatched this row at the very last because this you know it's neutrals i was very very interested in these two rows but when i swatched this shade i was so so surprised and it really shows up beautifully over this black eyeshadow that they have matte black eyeshadow so yeah so that is a shade and then we have this bronzy shade so that is a bronze so that is the first row oh wait and i didn't tell you guys what it's called this is called ultraviolet the duochrome is called ultraviolet and then the the bronze is called charge so yeah this the the top one is called light the silver is called light and the gold champagne is called beam and the duochrome is called ultraviolet and then the last shade the bronze is called charge and then um this is called switch again uh this is another duochrome i was surprised again when i swatched this because these don't appear duochrome in the pan or in the person at all mm, so when i swatched the these two shadows i was so so surprised guys do you see that duochrome it's very very potent it's not weak at all it's so beautiful guys such a beautiful color this again like appears so stunning under over the black eyeshadow or even by itself it looks really beautiful so that uh, is called switch and then next is called laser laser actually looks like a mid-tone pink but that is a flop shade <laughs> I have to say to be honest I tried using this two in two methods and um, actually three ways and um, two seem to be successful one which is this what this way where without a primer and just with a dry application this is just not working out at all then I tried using a primer underneath and a finger I applied a primer on the eyelids and then I applied it using my finger and it actually worked well to be honest there was a slight sheerness to it even after two to three layers but the layers i mean the, the uh the what was i going to say this particular shadow on the eyes even after two three two to three layers did not look uneven or did not look like very flaky or crusty it looked quite even it looked very even on the eyelids but there was a slight sheerness to the eyeshadow even after two to three layers then the third way of applying it was using a glitter primer and it actually responded really well to a sticky glitter primer 
so um, just with two layers I was able to get some really good uh, pigmentation guys so I suggest if you're using this particular shade use a very sticky eyeshadow primer or a glitter primer but you whatever you use underneath as a base I think you would need at least two to three layers of this particular shade to get that pigmentation to pop uh, but still I feel there is it's not like 100% opaque but it looks beautiful once you get that coverage but it's kind of without that uh, without that something to stick to it doesn't really uh, perform well as you can see that that color doesn't like come through so this was the only shade in the palette which was like this the others were like this <laughs> the, all, all the others were really really good but except for the pink shade that mm, mid-tone pink shade so next we have this uh, red color like a cranberry red and that was like completely pigmented so that again is like a foil shade so that was a no problems I didn't have any problems with that particular shade so except for this you would have to use a sticky uh, eyeshadow primer or a glitter primer and you would need definitely two to three layers even with that and this was such a beautiful dirty lavender mauve shade it's so so beautiful guys I really really liked it it was not too frosty it was not too ashy uh, it's really really beautiful even on my skin tone it looks that dirty lavender mauve shade so it it's a rich color that even this muted dirty kind of shades look like true to color because these shades just look ashy on me um, but this is good so that is called actually fuse hang on this is fuse and this is heat um, and and this is called laser and this is switch so that is a um, second row let's do the final row where it's, this is called amp um, this is has a silvery uh, tone to it I feel I don't know it just looked kind of silvery on my skin on the eyelids it, it did not have that um, that richness to it it is very pigmented it is opaque but just the tone of the color I felt it was kind of uh, on the silvery side I don't know and that is amp and then we have impulse which is oh my god this is so beautiful guys I have this in the inner and outer corner of the eyelids I have a halo look going on it's diff slightly difficult to say because I have this color and this color i have this in the inner and outer uh lids in inner uh, eyelid and the outer eyelid inner v and the outer v of the eyelid and in the center i have this shade so it's a little difficult to tell but you guys can see uh, it's a, such a beautiful rich peacock green color guys it's stunning i absolutely love it and again we have a peacock blue color this is again a duochrome uh, so I think we have three duochromes in this palette. It's like blue to purple shift. This and then we have um, this shade and this shade. So one, two and three. So I, I just told you, described you guys, uh, to you guys the eye, eye look that I have. Inner and the outer corner of the eyelid I have this shade and in the center I have this. I know they are kind of close because both are very, very rich colors but I just could not resist using these colors together so yeah and then finally is a black this black is just so beautiful just it's just a pleasure to even like swatch yeah <laughs> that's that is a very very pigment pigmented black guys so that is a final row oh wait um this is called amp and then the this peacock uh, green is called impulse and this peacock bluish purple is called hard wire and the black is called blackout so those are the 12 shades uh, from the palette and I really really like the color selection that's why I bought it in the first place I really like it uh, the muted ones I would say is this bronze 
but besides this bronze i don't think any other color is muted at all all of them are very foil shades and um i think this is the only shade the mid-tone pink that i had a little bit of problem with that is the only one which has chunky glitter other than that i there's no chunky glitters in any of the shades they are ultra foiled shades that will i feel these will really stand out in your collection if you have this eyeshadow palette now let's talk about the formula the eyeshadows don't have that silicone silicone kind of a slip to them in fact when i um touch my fingers in the pan on the eyeshadows i can feel some a little bit of friction the consistency is very dense very very reminiscent of makeup geeks um foiled eyeshadows or, or what's the other one the cosettes infinite um crystal eyeshadows they're also very dense to the touch so i feel the consistency is very dense so it doesn't like slip when you touch the eyeshadows there is some kind of friction that you feel when you touch them uh it almost gives me the satisfaction that i'm touching uh something very substantial just because it doesn't like slip and like escape like kind of thing going on it is very soft to the touch but i can feel that i'm touching something some uh, dense product so um the consistency is beautiful uh, now they say that you can apply it uh, the, these shadows apply really well with your fingertips now some products this definitely needs your fingertip to be up hang on let me show you show it to you guys in the palette otherwise uh, it might be difficult to relate this mid-tone pink you have to use your fingers but i feel this last row the greens and the purple the green this green and the purple these three can be you work really well with a brush an eyeshadow brush but of course using a finger definitely amps up the uh, pigmentation a lot but they do work even with a brush so that's uh, the the final row is actually fantastic now in the second row i feel um you would need of your to use your fingertip because they do work with a brush but you will have to layer it many times at least two to three times to get that opaque pigmentation but if you use your finger just one uh layer just would do the trick so you don't have to just layer it um and the top layer i'm sorry and the top row again uh i think you will have to use your fingers especially with this duochrome shade and with this bronze shade these two shade the silvery shade and the gold champagne shade they actually work really well with a brush and your finger so i would say one two three four five so these five uh, oh and even this um mauve shade so six of these shades oh wait and the black as well okay seven of these shades work really well with a finger and a brush uh the rest i think you would have to use your finger so now the other shades you can use a finger or a brush like i said but it's just going to take you some time because using a brush you would have to do a lot of layers now this particular shade you have to there's no other go you have to use your fingers only otherwise you'd just be sitting there building up the shade over and over again with like no positive results at all so highly recommend you use your finger with this mid-tone yeah uh pink shade so now let's talk about this black this black looks really really attractive and very promising when you swatch it but i i faced some difficulty with the blending it it actually took a while for me to blend it i was uh, i did like a good a solid like three to four minutes of blending it it took a while actually and uh this is a black i have in the outer corner and in the eyelids and the crease i'm sorry outer corner and the crease so that is a black that i have on and i did struggle a little bit with blending uh it took it took a while for me to blend it now the biggest downside for, on for these eyeshadows now the first downside is the black is not like the perfect black at least for me maybe i i need to improve my skills i don't know but the black really needs um a lot of work from my part to blend it like perfectly it's too too pigmented and i don't think that's a re that's the real reason J just because it's pigmented doesn't mean it should not blend uh when i blend it the product still stays on me on on me 
on, on my eyelid, the, the product doesn't like blend away altogether. But the harsh lines, like kind, it takes some time for the harsh lines to disappear. The windshield wiper motions. So yeah, the black, I, I don't know, it, it could have been better. Now the biggest downside is these eyeshadows crease on me within two to three hours it was such a big disappointment i know I, i've been like raving about the formula i love the way it's swatched i love the way it like uh, applies on the eyes they are beautiful but on my eyelids they crease let's see if they've started to crease yeah they have oh, yeah when i um came uh i mean when i came here to film the video um the eyeshadows were creased like crazy but it wasn't creased in the video but i because i had to touch up a little bit but they were creased like there was some major creasing going on guys and just within 40 minutes i applied i, I touched up the eyeshadows maybe 40 minutes ago and you guys can see some creasing do you see the creasing yeah i don't know about here here it's starting to crease but on here on this eye there is a lot of creasing as much as i love these shadows i don't think i can use them because they crease like crazy within two hours that is a very very short while guys not within two hours somewhere between two to three hours actually usually um eyeshadows don't crease on me so i didn't even like check up and after say three hours i just by chance incidentally i just happened to look in the mirror and it was like some major creasing going on i was so disappointed but i'm not going to discourage you guys from purchasing this palette because creasing is more got to do with the skin type um i don't think i have oily eyelids though because usually eyeshadows don't crease on me um so i don't know what to say about this maybe the formula is not that perfect um so yeah the the eyeshadows crease on me like within a very short period like say somewhere between two to three hours i don't know uh within 40 minutes it's already starting to crease do you see the shadows have started to move downwards and a little upwards and not here there is a distinct line so maybe because they are very dense or they're very emollient i don't know what the problem is but but again again i don't uh, i'm not uh, rec i'm not saying this palette is not good or the formula is not good if you like the colors and if you if you're all right with the price i'd say go ahead and check it out for yourself because it might not crease on you um so i can't speak for everybody when it comes to um creasing just because it creased on me doesn't mean it will crease on everybody else and i just use the primer that i used every day so i don't know guys i don't know what happened there it just creased yeah and it's creasing for the second time let me check yeah it is starting to crease anyways guys i love the colors i like the form well the formula i do like but unfortunately it didn't work on me my skin type so I liked the just uh, the formula and the review in a gist. The, the consistency is very dense, very, very similar to Makeup Geek's uh, foiled eyeshadows. They are very dense to the touch and they are so foiled. Except for this shade, none of the other shades have any chunky glitter to them. There are three duochrome shades, I would say, this particular shade this uh gray to very uh this very um icy blue or icy green and then you have this pink to purple kind of duochrome and then you also have this blue to purple duochrome so the and you have uh only one black eyeshadow so they say that if you layer this underneath um these or all of the other shades would pop on over over the black eyeshadow so i tried with few but not with each and every shade and they do work they they are really good and the black is i'm not really um crazy about the black i did struggle to blend that black out and they crease <laughs> that's the biggest disappointment of them all but again as i mentioned many times earlier i don't discourage you guys from buying this palette if you like the colors and if you're all right with the price go ahead and just uh see how it works on your eyelids so 
and I do not have an oily eyelids guys and I did use an eyeshadow primer so I don't know what happened there so yeah I guess I love the eyeshadows and the formula but the formula didn't love me so yeah that's it you guys that's my review hope you guys found this video useful please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe